Well hello everyone, just another short short video here from Ichitoshi for you, just to give you a little bit of a rundown on some new alpha. BRC20 swaps are now live on Unisa. Well what does this mean? Let's dive in and have a brief look shall we. This is currently only available to Prime Access owners and people who are qualified, so unless you want to spend a couple of uh, hundred or a couple thousand on a pass, you're not going to be able to do this unfortunately. But once it opens, you will be able to do. So we can have a look at the documents though. So introducing the BRC20 swap, the swap interface will look a little bit like this image here that you can see here. You'll have swap, pools and transactions. It looks very similar to how you have on other networks. But this is all going to be on chain and all going to be assets that are on Bitcoin. So it's fundamentally a lot better. But you'll see your asset here on the top, what you're swapping and what you're going to be receiving. It's just the ORDI for a test token. So it's quite simple. And as it says here, the app consists of three pages, the swap, the trading interface, which it's for executing swaps on BRC20 swap and depositing more assets into the module. The liquidity provider interface is where liquidity pools can be is where liquidity pools can add liquidity to BRC20 swap pools. Now this is where things get a little bit more complicated. But the transaction interfaces for users to view the past BRC20 swap interactions. Like the swap interactions look like most decentralized exchanges, like what I just showed you before in the image. Now users deposit their assets into liquidity pools where traders could then exchange the assets again at prices set by the AMMS math formula which is the automated market maker. Now to connect your wallet, in order to connect or swap liquidity you first need a wallet with a BRC20 support. Now currently BRC20 swap support is only available for Unisat wallets because this is a Unisat product so I don't imagine why it would be available for anyone else just yet. I'm assuming it will pan out eventually. <coughs> If we were to click on one of these links here, it would show us some more information about this wallet and the instructions on how to install them on our browser or our device. Obviously because it's just available for Unisat and it's still in its beta stages, there is only Unisat. I'm assuming they've worded it this way because they're probably going to add other wallets here so that you can do it with other like wallet providers too. Now it says on here, when you first navigate to the BRC20 swap, you'll see a button in the top right hand corner of the browser window that says connect. Click on this button and a model will appear asking you to select the wallet. Choose the wallet you installed in the previous step. At this point, the wallet app will take over and ask you to confirm the connection to the BRC20 swap and your wallet is now connected, very much just akin to how it would connect to any other website if you was connecting your Taproot wallet. Obviously, always do your own research and it's well worth popping into the Discord to confirm some of this information with them. Don't just take someone's word on the internet for it and go and put your wallet information into something. Do check this out. But this is a verified thing, so if we're going to be depositing assets into the BRC20 swap module, uh, in order to swap or add liquidity on BRC20 swap, you must first deposit assets into the BRC20 swap module balance. Once you've connected to the BRC20 swap, switch to the deposits tab and in the swap page, select the ticker for your assets that you want to deposit into the BRC20 swap. As you can see here, this is someone who's opened up the swap in an example and they're going to deposit the test token using the swap function. And once you click inscribe transfer, Unisat wallet will prompt you to sign an inscribe event. As you can see here, we've got the transfer inscribed inside your wallet. We've got it at a nice low fee too, which we all like to see. You won't get that today. Your wallet will then prompt you to enter the amount, enter the amount you want to inscribe, sign the transaction, and the transaction will be broadcast to the network and confirmed in the next block. As you can see in this image here, you will press deposit. Once you've clicked deposit and signed the transfer inscription to the BRC20 swap, you must wait for free confirmations, which can take a while. As it says on here, it does take a while. Some blocks might confirm in... 15 20 minutes for three blocks it could take three hours but it's well worth waiting for confirmation now that's just a little bit of a brief rundown on how the brc20 swap works i will add some links to this in the video description on youtube and you and have a look at this site more yourself and if you have a pass uh, to get on here i don't have one in this account i think i might have one in one of my other accounts i need to check but um if i do i will add some further context on what it looks like when you're actually using them and doing them live but yeah, this is really cool. But to summarize shortly, you can now swap BRC20s live for other BRC20s live with Unisat using their BRC20 swap feature, which is really quite cool. Obviously, they've got a slippage fee. It looks very similar to how you would expect to see in really cool, really nice. So yeah, uh, I'll have all the information down below. And if you'd like to know more, um, please look into it. That's all, folks.